Hello there and welcome to our entertainment news program, Tea Time. I'm Tokumbo Taiwo. My co-anchors, Elsie Godwin and Ife Oshinkeye, are also here and can't wait to say hello. Hello, people. Hi. What's that? Okay, so um, anything new? Okay, um, I have two stuff new from my hand. Um, the first one, I think I have to start with um, Carl Lagerfeld, the designer who passed away mm -hmm. and... Um, he worked with Chanel and also worked with um, what other brand? I can't remember. He, uh, Fendi. Fendi, and, yeah. Um, Fendi yeah. and Chanel. Mm -hmm. Well, he left his two hundred million dollar fortune to his cat. To his cat. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> it's, his it's, cat has more followers than a lot of celebrities on Instagram. <laughs> like his cat has an, an official Instagram page yeah, it's verified. Yeah, like Paris Hilton and her own dog, and they or they have their. So how will the cats be spending the money? That's the thing. I really don't understand how it works because this is also not the first time that celebrities do this in yeah. the UK. When I was there, we had lots of millionaires that would leave it to their dog and leave it to their cats and leave it to their pets. Okay. And I'm like, seriously, of all the things it's to like do in the world, it's just well, and I, I find just think that cat is made for life. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it actually shows some kind of bitterness when you are actually, when, when you're still living your life. You know, the bitterness in the sense that, okay, you feel that you made your own money and that you should not go to another person, you know, and then can you not find at least one relative that it can go to? But on the other or hand, you can for think... charity. Exactly, exactly. So if you can't even find a person, you can, you know, let it go to charity. Because I was going to say that, you know, even if everyone has offended you or you're one of those people that feel, okay, I've made my money, I use my, it's all of my hard... Um, hard work and sweat, you know, I don't think anybody else deserves it. At least, like Elsie says, give it to charity. Yeah. So, I mean... It would probably be for a good cause, because of end course of somebody day, yeah. would be, um, would have the power of attorney. Or, it will or, be the attorney or, himself, uh, not, attorney not, not the cats. power of... <laughs> no, uh, no, it I'm will saying be the attorney that, yeah. who, who is in charge of his estate. Yeah, like the attorney would be the one that would have the power of attorney to decide how it is distributed and... What, is distributed, distributed to how? Who? Wait, wait, seriously, wait. If, well, let, let me we should not even go like, there. If it's going to the cards mm -hmm. now, they can decide that okay, they are going to open like a museum for just cards and different species that would of cards. Not be in the, in the they, initially. I'm just telling you that these are the possibility. These are possible oh, things on, that can. Happen. On, okay, so what you think that. is going? To, you if think it's two hundred million dollars? You know, you have a second. Yes, exactly. Let's just go. Yes, we have got time, and I think we actually need to find out how it works because all these people that have, have left to. it yes we have to the animals there's mm -hmm. always a Some, way for something. it to be okay. distributed yeah. all right. and then um, I don't know if you guys saw the viral video of the woman that was praising our husband yeah. oh yes it's and been yes, trending so. since yesterday so. yes yeah, since yesterday yeah. Yeah. and I just thought that was um different from the regular stories we hear mm -hmm. especially in this new era where marriages are crashing left right center and I they bring think. it onto social yeah. media left but, right and center yeah, but this woman brought it onto social media media with no. a good vibe. I don't think no. she was the one who brought exactly. it. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah. just saying it like, oh, God. Must yes, you guys talk with me? You guys are always <laughs> ready to do We just need to get our facts right. Like, you know, like, you're always telling. Oh, anyway, I'm telling. I'm not we're out saying of time. she brought we it to social on. media. I'm just beautiful. saying, yeah, it's, it's very exactly. beautiful, yes. It so reminded right. me of my mom and my dad, actually. Love your mom, love what, your dad. Did your dad cry, Ife? Bro, just leave it at that. Did your dad cry? He didn't cry. You can't equate that to this man, because what made it go viral is the fact that the man cried. So is the cry that is the issue now? Now, on to the main business of today. <laughs> hey, <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh God. We haven't even started the program and these two are cracking me up big time. Oh, okay, let's go on to the bro. Sorry, what? You're cracking yourself up, bro. What? You're, You're cracking, cracking yourselves up, up bro. bro? Yeah. Okay, did you hear that? I repeated that to you, Ife. You're cracking no, yourself up. No, he said it first and oh, I said Elsie, it. It was a joke you. and it's gone right over your head. You don't no. want to the main business. Was that a joke? <laughs> wow. Oh, you actually missed it. Did you would have right over your head. career in comedy if you tried. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you're a presenter. <laughs> So, on to the main business of the day. Our first story is on uh, a lady called Jumoke who turned from ex-bread seller, uh, turned model, 
and uh, apparently things are not that rosy. So, um, she... Wait, is it our popular Jumoke that you mentioned called a lady called Jumoke? Yes, like, not everyone knows star. her, come on. Sorry? She broke in 2016 and, and everyone, and she was popular and then everyone... She, she yeah. was really popular. So, so, so why is she going through this problem right now? If I popular bread seller... Oh, please. Yes, Elsie. please address our Jumoke in a very, very You nice can address way. it. I Go would ahead. address her as... Yes. <laughs> Anyway, maybe I should let you speak first no, then. No, go ahead. Go no, ahead. go ahead. You've already jumped in. No, go ahead. Okay, so like I was saying, they are in 2016... Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't know. Regardless, whether she sells sliced bread or, or that, it still makes no difference. A bread seller is it's a bread seller. Is is it, does he even understand the gist surrounding Jumoke? Because I don't understand the bread seller and bread seller. She was selling agege bread. I know. There is a difference. That's what I'm saying. So whether it's sliced bread, bread or the not a bread seller, bread no? Oh, seriously. A bread seller is not a bread seller. Okay. Go ahead. Go on, Elsie, because I've done this before. Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us the difference. No, I used to get your angle so we can move on let's move on oh seriously okay so um we're cracking you up again bro. <laughs> seriously big time i'm speechless but, you know what i can't talk you, you guys hmm. should talk okay the funny thing about the story for me is how this man has switched from husband real quick to baby i daddy. saw your comment and i'm like whoa life. this what? life man, i mean I understand the parts. I mean, they are trying to bring out the whole story now and saying, oh, they were not married, you've not gone to do the proper. Mm -hmm. um, is it Which they are blaming Jimoke for. Blaming Jimoke for, but still on still, if Jimoke did not become who she is today, mm -hmm. the idea of whether they went to see father or mother will oh, not come up. Exactly. Because I've been close to people from the rural, um, should I call it rural now, yeah? Mm -hmm. Rural settings when it comes to the Yoruba, especially in Lagos, they can easily get married and just stay together and call themselves husband and wife, not necessarily carrying any traditional thing or doing anything. Mm. Like, that is how it works for no, them. No, 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 no. Let's not start another argument. No, let's because start. If we... Because I'm telling you what I have experienced and I've seen. I, I see know. it. What I'm saying is that it doesn't mean that it is right. Just because I'm two, saying that two right, people I'm saying have she it. did not become Jumoke that she yeah. is today. This, mm -hmm. will not, this story will not come out because they will still live together as husband and wife for as long as they want to. No, not necessarily. If they want to go through it the proper way, then allow them to do that. You can't say because man and wife or the culture demands that man and wife cohabit together and that, that they should do that, you know. Talking, they, I'm talking about this story particularly. I'm yes, I'm saying if they don't want people. if they want to marry legally or if they want to marry technically, allow them to do so. I you can't say they should cohabit. That's not the issue because we are not saying whether the they should marry legally or You're saying or that, or you know, that in the Yoruba culture they can just stay I'm together and marry Yoruba together. Culture. I'm saying what I have seen happen in the rural settings. That's what I'm saying. That you don't, you should allow people make their own decision if they don't want to follow what's in the what rural setting. What she's trying to say is that even though it is not right, mm -hmm. but people in the rural setting mm -hmm. do this a lot when yes. they cohabit yes. and then they stay as long as, as they forever. want to, and they as stay as husband and wife. And yes, see, that's what I'm saying. So if this couple decided out, not yes. to do it, Hold what on, problem she do you came have out, with that? Everybody, I mean, mm -hmm. at least the ones I read, all yeah. I was seeing is this was Jumoke's husband, mm -hmm. which is why it became funny when we saw baby daddy in the caption yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was wondering how did he go from husband to baby daddy real quick? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. Looking at what they tabled and looking at it from the legal point now for you, mm -hmm. yeah, he's right. You can call him baby daddy because he father. Is it's it two children, two right? Two children, yes. But I, I, I mean, there's something fishy going on here, and okay. um, I hope that All right, he can if... pick himself up and move on. Okay. If uh... I just think um, women are stronger than we think these days. This is the era where no woman is going to accommodate a weak man. Oh. No weakness. Mm -hmm. You get me. So at the end of the day, I think every man should double their hustle. Oh, come now, on, first of all, you're wait, advocacy hold on. Here once again, and curry favor you know, with the women. Said, hold on, okay. I'm saying, first of all, why did he come on social media? Mm -hmm. It reminded me. I of, think that was an interview he granted. Yeah, he so, granted yeah, an, so an then interview. They it there. Obviously, so, like, he if came on you media. go on an interview and you peel up everything about your private life of mm. course you know he would make the news he's not stupid he knows about the media his um, baby mama has been in the media so he knows how these interviews work mm. he knows how they get excerpts from it yeah. of course he does no, trust he probably me doesn't. now it's look as far as i'm concerned all of this i know things are not going suji motos paid for their um five rent years. for five years mm -hmm. and all of that and then they got Wait, to do talking but, about that you know this five years rent payment this was not how it was narrated when it happened what we heard was that he gave them a house 
Now, it then it was looking no. like he actually gave what? them, like, mm -hmm. bought the house. Yeah, now, I, mean, I think people are not even breaking down the story. No, no, it's, it's not about breaking, about breaking it, down. it down. That's the sensationalization of... Mm -hmm. Of, of the, the facts. Of, of the facts, yeah, mm -hmm. because people actually knew the exact story. He mm -hmm. gave them, of course, you are paying for somebody's rent for five years. That's still, you that's like them. you've given them yeah, a house, house or like you've given them a room yeah. for a long time. So it can be regarded as, as Suji Moto mm -hmm. gave them a yeah, house, the house because yeah. he didn't pay for just one year and they were home less five after years, a year. That's five a years, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. that, like, just, that's a lease. It's not just even rented. Do you understand? All right, unfortunately, we're out of time to delve deep. Well, let me just conclude by saying no weakness, men, get your things straight. Now this oh, guy you're keeps just saying, even blaming oh. him. I'm not saying him, that. Him, you know, him, he him. said he's okay. You know what, guys? Let's come back and talk about it because we're not done with this story. Time okay. for a break. When we come back, I will be giving you more entertainment stories, and we'll also come back to this story to conclude. We'll uh, be back in a moment. You're watching Plus TV Africa, and this is Tea Time. I loved the energy when I came in here. It was okay. so positive. I was like, I can't, I can't live here. My real names are Akbobio Fubo, Akbobio Bomeemere. I think my father is a comedian because most times when he calls me, he's like, yo, make sure you use condom, you know, them girls out there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so are you telling me I should have shot my shots? If you have a younger brother, <laughs> age so is nothing but a number. Beautiful. What? I'm a vampire. Like, <laughs> I believe in equal rights for okay. women. Mm -hmm. And I also believe that a man is the head of the house. So okay. we need to draw our limits somewhere. I feel so good. I can I do my jam now? Yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Now, before we move on to our next story, uh, we hadn't yet concluded on the previous story, which is on Jumoke and um, the bread selling um, who turned model. And so we haven't finished that story. I think if Esti wants to conclude or have his final say on that topic, because from what I see, it's like you're, you're blaming the guy. We've not even talked about the woman I'm not, I'm not, and her fault. Yeah, now that, that's where I was going. Okay. Because if you read further, mm -hmm. you'd see him complaining yeah. first how she goes out and comes with back the manager, in the middle of the yeah. night and then no explanation mm -hmm. and he can't tolerate her rudeness. Mm -hmm. And then he now went so subtle talking about uh, how things haven't been easy, that she was better off when she was with Azuka, the guy and T.Y. Below because they had mm -hmm. more connection. Mm -hmm. So he was like, okay, I'm going to blame you first, then I'm going to discuss our problems and there's maybe this will open new doors for mm -hmm. that's the way i'm looking at it because you blame that blame that blame that and then you're saying no things are not going as well as they used to uh, do, do you get like it's a very confusing social he narration lament. he's lamenting he's lamenting he's and at the same time chest. he's pleading on her behalf like yeah, because he wants a change. I don't just you even think... don't because I think that if he gets the change now, if you have to eat your words because if somebody on the back of this, I would hate like, my words because I think that's the motive. That's why they are doing yeah, this in the first place. But if that's what's wrong with that, if that's the plan, if that's the plan, yeah. Oh, okay, I rest my case. Elsie. I rested my cases. Okay, all right. <laughs> on, on that note, we're moving on to our next story. Uh, music producer Saz narrates his most embarrassing moment with Whiskey and Pato Rankin. Um, so I was expecting some kind of really, really embarrassing situation, and I saw that I was like, mm, it's really not that embarrassing. But I can um, identify with it or, you know, feel I think that must have happened to. Every one of us at one point. Point in time, yeah. No, but I think this is really embarrassing. I yeah, mean, it is taking it from the part that he already he told, told Pato, Pato that, it was, that good. it was good. Why didn't yeah, he come out clean? Because he didn't feel comfortable about how to tell him. I think by the time Whiskey had called him, yeah, because he, he has, because he had a better Whiskey. working relationship yeah. with Whiskey. Minus that, by the time Whiskey had called the following day, he had had time to process it and decided to speak the truth. No, I think it's a, it's no. I'm not looking at it like that way because okay. it feels like you know I'm a failure at something. You're not coming to me to tell me, oh, Elsie, you didn't do this right, but you can go and discuss my failure with somebody else. How does that no, work? No, but you know what he had. 
had an issue with is, you know, Pato Rankin's part in the song. Mm -hmm. So how do you tell that to somebody directly when he had no problem with Whiskey's part? I mean, he could have at least even tried to mm -hmm. be diplomatic about it and say, um, it did okay, but you fist do better. Oh, you come know? on, Elsie. I Instead think we're just all... I think we're saying, oh, it's awesome, we're... it's dope. Oh, no, guys, guys. Oh, I think, no, but I think we're all guilty when someone actually shows you something or like, okay, listen to my jam or you show you something. Tokumbo, I'm not guilty. Elsie, yeah. come on. Ah, you don't know. If I think if I can identify with what I'm saying, you, the unless only you reason, not see, to. these days, when I listen to an upcoming artist song, mm -hmm. the only no, reason... I'm not even saying Elsie about the upcoming act. I'm contest, just saying like yeah. from... You know, generally people would like show you one or two things and like, what do you think? And sometimes you like you can't really tell them that it's that bad. You just like, no, and can't. sometimes you reflectively or if, especially if I'm when not you going know to tell you so much, so much effort. You you're, you're trying yeah. to think of a way to like break them down gently, and then it's later that I tell break them you, down let gently. Me, let me, it's different let me, from after you making you feel let like you did good when you did not do good. Mm -hmm. Let me explain what I feel happened in this scenario. I think it was the case of Saz has a better relationship with Whiskey because mm -hmm. Whiskey worked on his first album, Starboy. Mm -hmm. I mean, Saz worked on a lot of songs on with the Whiskey. Starboy album. Mm -hmm. And um, in the case of Pato Rankin, when that song came out, Pato Rankin wasn't as big as he is right no. now. Mm -hmm. So obviously, he was still looking up to Saz in a certain way. So if a producer like Saz had told someone like Pato Rankin at that time that your song it's not good. It would probably kill his morale. And you would probably see it like from the angle of, oh, this guy is just hating on me because I'm not that big, because I'm not. So he felt the person I can communicate this way mm -hmm. is it's someone whiskey. I know, whiskey, no, who is Which is why way. I'm saying you don't have to say it is awesome when you know mm -hmm. it is not awesome. Yeah, but I Put feel like he was just going down in. Down he did I'll not just say, no, Patrick, you know we don't we know the end. Come studio, let, I think there's a bit of... We, um, we don't know the do end of this so conversation. Mm -hmm. Or we don't know how this conversation could have ended mm -hmm. if Pato Rankin wasn't in the background. Maybe at the end of the day, if it was just himself and Whiskey that were having that conversation, mm -hmm. he could have told Whiskey, like, um, your verse was good, but I didn't like Pato. You feel tell he said. Pato. That's what he did. No, wait, wait. Wait, like if he tell Pato make it do him again, like maybe that could have been the conclusion no, if Pato Rankin so, wasn't like he didn't there. even like the part at all in that first instance. But well, he, he said later that he started to the like, song, yeah, he said later. Yeah, yeah. and he thinks it must have been stupid mm -hmm. to say because that song exactly. I liked it from mm -hmm. day one. You know there are I some think, songs like that I'm where you listen to. I'm also thinking that yeah. is the reason why that video, you, when you, have you seen the video, right? Pato and Whiskey did not appear on that video together. So I think a whole lot of things happened mm -hmm. after that um, phone Incident, call because yeah. the video is dope, but you mm -hmm. won't see Pato, you won't see Whiskey on the video. Mm. All right, uh, moving on to our next story. Shatawale uh, is set to train uh, musicians who can't make uh, hit songs. So this is really, really this is good. Ghana people, man. Yeah, but the even so, people. I just wanted to say that this is really, really good. Scam. It's a scam, you think, really? I was telling you to allow his people to talk. Say okay, let me, talk. please, let me quickly say okay. my own piece. Let me say yeah, my own piece. Because I, well, before you come on to the scam stuff, I, I'm looking at it from a positive side where I think if if he's really doing this, you know, positive, yeah. yeah, then that's it's a good a thing. It's a very positive thing to do, but yeah. well, I'll tell scam. you why it's a scam. So okay. finish your... Okay. So Because I was looking at it two ways. I was like, okay, if he's going to collect money and collect exorbitant amounts, then you're probably right, it's a scam. But if he's really doing it intentionally to help some people, you know, to, to make money in the industry, then that is a beautiful no, no. thing. Are you saying if he's doing this and collecting money from me, then it's a scam? Hi, especially hi. No. If he's collecting, no, hold on. If he's collecting, he's an, passing knowledge. Yes, and if, if you he have is. to pay to get no, it, you pay to no, get no, it. No, 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 no. Why no. you? I don't, no, I'm trying to. I'm Understand. not talking about your scam part. Though. I'm mm -hmm. talking about now. It's just saying. like me saying I want to train people on how to be a blogger, and I say you have to pay for it, and then you say I'm being a scam because I'm not doing it for free. No, the point is the way this has come out is like he's trying to do a charitable deed. If you're trying to do a charitable deed, then you know either the money should be minimal or it should not be for business purposes if it's for business mm -hmm. you know say that from the get-go let everyone know you're that yes Nigeria oh, right come now, on come on Elsie Elsie you're, Elsie, you're, Elsie, Elsie, you're a business Elsie. woman seriously you're and then Nigeria. no someone has recently opened like a, a, a um, um, an academy for um, to learn how to act here in Nigeria mm -hmm. I think and it's it for it's not free that's what I'm saying they made it very clear but this one you're saying send your email and blah 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 oh, oh god I don't okay if I don't want to shake this table shake it 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 and fling the table away because um, f 
first of all, speed dialing thing, mm. no matter the workshop, please, which it's track. How can you teach bang da da da. how uh -uh. to make a hit song? No, he, if I don't bang know da 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 is a hit. Go for it first, seriously. But when you, you, want, you do not have it, mm -hmm. you do not have well, it. But I think we should you. go for a break and then we'll be right back. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Time for another break, but don't you worry. Uh, this conversation is definitely going to continue and we'll be back before you know it. What we do not understand, we will stigmatize. What you can see is the remaining of the tanker that exploded. The suffered equally confessed. A 500 naira they collect them. No talk can go beat you. Now two to other five and they Welcome back. It's still tea time right here on Plus TV Africa and we're swiftly moving on to, you know what, before we move on to our final story, we need to conclude on the previous story before the break and it's regarding Shatawale, um, who is uh, launching a platform to train people on how to yes, um, yeah, and I'm make it. work at this because I'm going to open a poll on our website so you can go check out our website later in the day and then let's see, let's see people that would vote for can you teach anybody how to make a hit song mm -hmm. or is it impossible for you to teach somebody out to even oh. the established sorry, sorry, musicians Fede, sorry no sorry, sorry just hold on a second because um you've just hit on a good point there so as opposed to going to the website i think they can also do that via the tea time hashtag as well yeah. so if anyone wants to comment on this particular uh, story and then actually state you know categorically if they think and the best possible. comments might get a giveaway right I don't know about that. I should come to you. <laughs> I'm feeling generous. Right? <laughs> okay, you fell down to your point. Okay, so down to my point. I just think this is very impossible. This is a very impossible thing to do. If Chateau Ali was like a music oriented person himself. He's a music producer, he's a good musician, but it's not like he plays the instrument. It's not like he he's going to teach. to teach them how it's to not play like, the wait, instrument. I'm just saying. I think he wants to teach them the business side of uh, music, but you can carry on. No, the not the business side. side. He's not, not how to make a hit song. You yeah, if it's a business song, you don't know the even business the side. established musicians get lucky with hit songs. It's not like you know. Someone like Timaya is no, very strategic. In his post, he, he doesn't talks just about, drop no, songs. In his so you post, think someone like Timaya can make, teach someone how to make a hit song? No, I, I, I'm saying it is part of the luck. That is why he is so patient to make sure he gets the right if vibe. You keep saying but luck. someone like David Doe, you keep saying Doe, luck. Are you saying some people are like creative? Some people are talented. I'm just. Oh. Okay. Yeah, some people are talented. It's not all about luck. I think I'm luck. going to have to rest my case on this one again. But I think this is a scam okay. in the sense that you're paying for a workshop for something. They are telling people to come and register mm -hmm. and pay for something that I feel is impossible. Okay. It is a scam on my part. Okay, I, I appreciate your um, your views on this. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Elsie? I think we should move on to our final story right now. Um, and it's regarding the... Um, Evolving drama regarding Justice Smollett. Uh, the latest is that he's been charged with faking a racist attack. And um, immediately I read this headline, I was like, oh, if I said it, you know, he's been going on about it. Do you award? Yeah, say the word. I was like, if I say this, or like forever. But I'm, but if you know that the lawyers have said they're going to have their own investigations, you know, because some some part of me just doesn't believe that. Is there any case that they are Lawyers will not tell you they will do their own investigation. But he's so innocent until proven guilty. Exactly. Yes. Even if somebody and if said I just has been charged it. for murder, yeah. because these lawyers said mm -hmm. they were going to fight it. In fact, they are still doing mm -hmm. um, another. What's it? What's it? What's it? What's the word again? Sorry, just keep going right over You're my head. You're the lawyer. If I yeah, remind uh, us, but this is doing, going to hurt um, me so much. Let's get, come back to yeah. the story. Whatever anyway. it is. Yes, yeah, smaller. Now they're appealing. Okay. Yeah, they're going to the court of appeal mm -hmm. now because this lawyer. They're also telling you. 
you they are doing that. So whether you know sentence you're proven guilty, there have been so many loopholes in the story which mm -hmm. I have pointed out over and over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And now they're even asking them to turn him in, like mm -hmm. he needs you get yeah, and he carries a maximum sentence today. of three so, yeah. years. Yes. So he's wow. officially he's now a suspect. He's yeah. now yeah. a suspect. suspect. Yeah. So the brothers were you see when we were talking the other time, mm -hmm. I made it clear to you guys that they never referred to those two Nigerian brothers as suspects. They referred to them so as person of interest. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? There's a difference. But okay. they're collaborating and be cooperating with them. Yeah, they're cooperating. Yeah. They're telling them they yeah, pay. Yeah, but they Justice Mallet has been cooperating from the get-go anyway. No, so he hasn't like... been cooperating because they released his phone records 11 days mm -hmm. after the attack. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? There were certain information he wasn't ready to give up. Mm -hmm. He said he was on the phone with his manager. Um, but that manager. is understandable, because given the fact that, one, he's black, two, he's, he's um, openly gay. So maybe he wanted to cover some things about his personal relationship. Who knows? In we can't a, just jump into conclusions, in, though. In an investigation that concerns life, mm -hmm. such as racism. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there has been a lot of leaks in this investigation. And if he was on the phone or probably having a, pers I'm just saying, yeah. a personal relationship with someone who is gay and is not out yet mm -hmm. and doesn't want to come out mm -hmm. yet, he might really want to hold back that information. That's now, I'm thing. not saying... So, I'm, just, I'm not saying he doesn't have the right not to. Mm -hmm. I'm just refuting the fact that you're saying he has been cooperating. That's not cooperation. No, he's not been cooperating because... <laughs> Before this came out yesterday, he has refused to talk to the police on Tuesday and on Monday. Like, they've been trying to reach him and he refused to talk to them. Yeah, so. why would he want to do that? Because remember, don't forget that his cooperation started when he first reported it. He was, like, absolutely saying he was going to cooperate. Even his lawyers were saying, yes, he's willing to cooperate, blah, blah, blah. It was later when so many other things were coming out that he was like, okay, is this what they're saying? That I actually said something that, the, the, that these guys are black or that they are white or so, and that I'm not telling the truth. That, those are the things that angered him. And, like, now he's not even cooperating. And then I told you guys really? about I think I would just I don't see how this case points, goes because um, if this is, still is true or if they find him guilty mm -hmm. Some parts of Mr. Fanny is so difficult to, to believe, believe that he would want Go to that fake low. something, something like that's, this. I and feel you know, the same way. And I'll unfortunately, say. the fact that we have two Nigerian brothers being the Involved. one cooperating in this, it mm -hmm. still makes me feel like mm -hmm. I don't know what is going on. You know, yeah. but hopefully. But don't worry. If once this case is all dusted and sorted, and, and you are I in mean, the right. why did they even travel out the next day after? doing this let's because agree. they have confessed that this was a planned look the plan was to do it and travel out no we don't know about the traveling out. and if it was planned really? like That's i think elsie was saying yes if they, they, traveled and then they came planned, back after one week and then they the police people. are telling you they have enough evidence that he staged it and this is the reason why they have they have a warrant for his arrest i also saw the this video the of the two brothers buying the who's the and, news uh, and buying the sorry. ski mask so, and buying the maga and, and buying a red um ah. face cap as well <laughs> Do you right now, like, I feel like I'm watching an episode on Empire. Like I'm just uh, so weak. And then Empire <laughs> would have been supportive all along. Since no, no, the no, that's beginning. allegedly. We don't have proof. No, 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 no. They have been no, releasing statement that they haven't. I said they haven't. Listen, okay. I said they have been supportive right mm -hmm. from the beginning, beginning. of yeah. the investigation, mm -hmm. saying that he's still a he's still an Part active of the, member yeah. of mm -hmm. Empire cast yeah. and he's still mm -hmm. one of them, and they're not getting him fired and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now they reached out to them for a statement. Now that. And, and a warrant for his arrest has been issued, yeah. and they have refused to talk. No, but it's fair, it's fair enough for them not to say anything uh, because it's going to court. So they are an organization that they need to be, lying. you know. No, they come know, on, come if, uh, seriously, until he's been proven guilty before they issue any statements whatsoever. Okay, we'll wait again, right. but please, the next yes, time this we'll comes up and it yes. is, we'll give you and I am correct, we'll please. We'll give you credit. Uh, no, 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 well, apart from credit, I'll I'm not going to say any word. I'm not going to say All right, no, this we're really out of time. I am time. done with it. We are out of time. All right, on that note, we're wrapping up on the show right here, right now. Join us this afternoon for another episode of the program. But before we go, I've got to thank my regulars on the show. Show my anchors on set, Elsie and Ife, and then the entire production team as well. I'm talking about Taiwan saying good morning.